Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Unicross. So we're going to be talking about Nominate Kai EX, aka the light bulb. Uh, <laughs> Nominate came out before with the Riku vs. Roxas, or Roxas vs. Riku banner, but it was a non mercy pull. It's a very unique metal. It has something that can change the gameplay for you, especially if you don't have a lot of good metals that have negative 60 ground, um, that are AoE, and you get into issues with the organization fights and stuff like that. Uh, this metal can change a lot of things for you, but it is very specific who it goes towards. And also, it's a new mechanic that can be placed on any other metal going forward. Just like the Foretellers had the whole change the next metal into a speed, power, or magic. They ended up putting that into a newer metal. So, Nami doesn't mean she's going to be the unique one, but usually... Sometimes these metals do come out to be one of a kind um, for a very long time and then it's placed somewhere else. And sometimes it happens very quickly. But if you guys don't want to take that chance, you do have a chance to get her at a 5 mercy pull right now on an amazing banner of two, not one, but two tier 6 or 7 7 star metal where you pay 2400 jewels over here and you get one metal per pull where this one you get five pulls you're working towards a unique mechanic that can change your gameplay along with two of these per pull per pull so in the end you're gonna have 10 new sub slots and that in itself is very very good um, you don't get a trait metal every pull you don't really need a trait metal on this you could get extra attack on this and this would make this metal even better and that's because this metal is very uh, unique but it doesn't have the buffing capable uh, capabilities of being just the buffer itself because it doesn't buff any of the defenses it gives you the general strength it gives you upright and it gives you all the attributes times seven but it doesn't give you defense down for anything so you got to rely on your other metals and prime metals don't kick it enough because prime metals only have defense general defense down by five and nothing else we're nominate if people are going to put her into a setup as a buffer i wouldn't recommend that because you're missing everything else but as you guys can see down here she does add counter to plus five so this is really good because think about it she adds five counters to an enemy. Usually we go into fights uh, like the organiza Organization 13 events where their counters are like two or one or three and our Kairi's EXs and our Shion she EXs only add plus one, plus two if we have extra attack if we're lucky. But this metal adds that counter plus five, which I've brought in metals that do no damage at all. All they're there is for their second chance and their counter plus 10. Those VIP metals that we got, the world ends with you, the key art, all that. They had plus 10 counters, and that's all they were really good for. Yeah, they had damage, but I'm not going to make them six stars. I mean, seven stars compared to other tier eights. So, this metal right here, one, it does have some buffs for you. It also increases your defense and your PSM defense, and then it adds that plus five counter. So, it's a good tanking metal. Not the best one, but it's a good tanking metal, and it gives you that plus five counters, and then it also has fixed damage. So, meaning it will apply damage no matter if it had negative 60 ground or any of that. It will apply damage to the enemy and at a big amount 495,000. And also, it makes the next metal into a group attack. So, the metal itself. I highly praise it. I praise it a lot. Um, it would be better if it had max down, defense down, all that. But I think that would be overkill. And it would pretty much make uh, Kyrie and Shion not that great. The only thing this metal is missing, I don't think it heals the HP. If I'm correct. So, it, it doesn't have healing and it doesn't have defense down. Meaning that it's not great to be as your main buffer. It won't take care of all that stuff you need. But that's not its placement. It's not going to be in the beginning of your Keyblade setup. So, who's it good for and why you guys should pull for this or skip on this banner? One, the banner. I like the banner. The only thing the banner is missing is trait rerolls. And that would be great to go along with this. But you are guaranteed two uh, six, uh, tier 6 or 7 7 stars, which equals a lot of sub slots. 10 if you don't go past a mercy pull of 5, which you don't need to. I think 1's good enough. 2 can do something. But again, it all depends on your metal. So what you guys are going to do is that it makes a single target metal and a random metal. So those two uh, selections right there into an AOE metal. And you know what? Let's make this a little bit better. We're going to go 4, 5, 6, and 7, our highest tiers, and see what you guys have with negative 60 ground on it or negative 60 aerial depending on the enemy but most likely you want negative 60 ground so now that i organize it from tier fours to eight aoe and single target with negative 60 ground this is my selection 
So, out of all this, my best metals are Hercules B, I got Genie, and then if I ever make this guy into a 7 star, um, he's also going to be for multiple turns. He's got negative 60 aerial and ground. Uh, but I wouldn't too much look at that. Look at more like your tier 7s and maybe your high score challenge medals. Because all those high score challenge medals we got can now be AoE with crazy multipliers. But first step is see how many of them you have with ground. Because that way your single target and random medals can now hit everything with that negative 60 ground and a ton of damage on it so once you get that and you go like okay i have one or two i don't have one for every color i don't have an upright and reverse power metal i don't have an upright and reverse magic metal i don't have an upright uh reverse uh, speed and upright speed metal if you don't have one for each slot or to clean up a fairy stars or a starlight setup and you have a blank space somewhere nominee is going to work for you nominee is going to be your your uh tank and she's going to raise the enemy's counters and she's going to make your single target medals into an incredible beast and if you just take away the whole negative 60 thing and look at medals that you have that are just random and single target uh from tier 4 i'm going to go even better i'm going to put this on special so they're actually guilted so look at your guilted medals that are single and aoe if you guys have amazing high score challenge medals like Bob and Jack Jack at 7 star, if you have Sora and Simba, whatever you guys have at 7 star that do a lot of damage, even stuff with extra attack, you guys are going to be like, this is a good idea. It's a really good idea. I like nominate, and I'm going to wait until uh, Marluxia. Marluxia's in 4 days. Marluxia's in 4 days, and I believe this banner is here for 7 days. Yeah, it's here for 7 days. So while Marluxia is here, this banner is still here. So I'm telling you guys that, yes, this is a good metal. It has its place. That counter plus 5 is going to make a big difference along with making your single target metal or random metal into an AoE metal. Meaning that anything you guys want to face from this point on, everything will get hit with those high score challenge medals 53.66 multiplier. Compared to AoE medals that only go up to a certain AoE point. Uh, let me let me pull up the best AoE medal I can find. So AoE ranges between 32 to 36 multiplier, where this can make a 53.66 multiplier hit everybody. So it has its place. It's like putting two medals together that have a 27 multiplier into one metal. Again, you are the downfalls of this is that you're taking up a slot that could be attacking metal. And that's why I said this metal is not for everyone when it comes to this. And when you look at it, AoE metals get, are getting better and better. But so are single target and random metals. They are always the highest multipliers in the game. So meaning, Nominee is kind of like a copycat metal. She never really gets outdated if you think about it. Because she's always enhancing the metal after her she's just there she adds that counter plus five she adds some buffs and debuffs that is not overwrite meaning that she can stack she'll give you times uh 14 if that ever happens for your strength and your attribute strength and all that for your buffs but she never gets outdated because she copy not copy she makes the next metal into an aoe metal so as long as you get the newest and updated a single target or random metal they are always going to become the best AoE metal in your deck. So, Nominee has that sense of foreverness. She gives you plus 5 counters, and she gives you the AoE ability for any metal, along with some buffs and debuffs here and there. So, it's not bad. And she gives you almost 500,000 damage. So, it, the, the downfall again is that she takes up a slot, but she's also kind of infinite. So there's that back and forth thing. Um, you guys could have really good traits. And that's why I said in the beginning that if you don't have a lot of negative 60 medals, you only have like one single target or random medal that has negative 60. And you need one for AoE because you hit a, a, a group in Coliseum or in a high organization event that all the enemies need a negative 60 ground or aerial. She'll do that for you. She'll make that next medal and she'll deal with those counters on top of it. That plus five counter is no joke. That can fix a lot of problems. And again, if you get multiple copies and you fuse them for extra attack, that works too. But if you do get multiple copies, keep them separate. You might only have two medals that are random or single target with good multipliers and you want to use them both as AoE medals and then everything goes boom. So she has her place from now until whenever another medal like her comes out. All right, to also finish this off, guys, um, you can skip this medal if you really want to as well. Think about it. Since her release till now, did it really bug you that you didn't have her? I would say in some scenarios with that counter plus five, yes, it could have helped you along with making your single target random metal into an AoE metal. That could have changed 
a couple quests here and there, but you've survived this whole time without her, meaning do you really need to spend on her? And for those of you who do have her, how much have you guys been utilizing her? I could point out all her good features here and let you know what she can do and how it can help you but in the end everyone's account is different so for those of you who did get the nominee let everyone know down below in the comment section how did it turn out for you did it make you pass a quest that you wouldn't have passed without her or are you guys okay with the medals you have and i did tell you guys to go look at your medal list for single target random medals but go look at your aoe medals that you already have with negative six, negative 60 ground or aerial and see which one is your best one. Again, it's a hard trait to get, so it's usually down to just one metal. Like I have here, only my prime Illustrated Roxas has negative 60 ground that I would actually use uh, for these missions and these quests because he's got damage of 9.54 for AoE or 14.36 for a single target. So he works out pretty good, a 20 to 35 multiplier, depending what I'm hitting with negative 60 ground. But again, I could be using my nominate to copy uh, my Hercules or my Genie and do 45 or somewhere around that for AoE damage on top of it. So it does change your game, but I wanted to know from everyone else how you guys are doing with it. Uh, me personally, on this account, my free-to-play account, I have enough jewels, and I know a lot of you guys are hurting on jewels because of all the stuff that just happened. Supernova, Copycat Nominee, um, you're going to have the organization event coming out, which is Marluxia. That's going to cost you 11,600 jewels. So you guys probably don't have enough jewels to pull for this. And me saying, yeah, it's good, it's definitely going to make a difference, doesn't mean that you guys have to go for it pick and choose what you guys really want if marluxia comes out and he's a beast of a metal he's got great buffs and debuffs and a high multiplier then go for him if he's just a high multiplier metal check out the high multiplier metals you already have do you need to replace them do you have zach b already because he's incredibly strong do you have phantom that's two slots of reverse speed if he comes out as reverse speed do you really need a third reverse speed metal everyone's gonna say yes because marluxia is husbando but <laughs> Uh, pretty much guys you gotta look at your account and what you guys need I'll just point out the good things about it and the bad things of these metals the right the rest is up to you guys um, So that's pretty much it for nominee over here. Uh, again I think I want to go for it on my main account, but my main account sitting at 10,000 or 12,000 jewels and again Marluxia is around the corner and I kind of want another reverse speed metal uh, But at the same time I do have Zach B. So it all depends what happens with Marluxia. How good is Marluxia gonna be? Um, the good thing about nominee is nominee doesn't need attack boost meaning you can put second chance on her or defense boost six or whatever you guys want for defensive she's a defensive metal because that 495 is going to happen no matter what so you guys don't have to make her into a seven star because it's fixed damage and most metals just do millions and millions of damage now compared to her so she can stay at a six star so she won't tempt your tier eight fairies for her and then a new tier eight comes out and you need those fairies for that one because that got better traits or something she won't tempt you to waste that and she won't take away your attack boost max skills and that'll go towards another medal. So there's pros to that as well. But again, it all up to you guys. Let me know down below what you're going to do with this. Did you pull? Did you not pull? And you might see a future pull video for this. Who knows? Um, either way, guys, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.